Yo, what's going on, YouTube? I just came to the shop. I'm in here right now. Um, we're just chilling, you know what I'm saying? We got two stations there. And I'm just uh, just using this station right here. Got all my stuff. Yeah, so we just grinding, like always. It's going to be my first day in the shop. So it's my boy Mike. What's going on, bro? Woo! <laughs> Will you my cuts? Yeah. <laughs> All right, set up. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I got all my my clippers and stuff. I might use some of my uh, the other guy who cuts here. And I got yeah. at least two appointments today. Probably some more on the way. Cutting again tomorrow. We're just on the grind, so I'm gonna show you all my cuts. All right, guys. I know this was a while ago, back in December, but I still want to show you guys. So. As you can see, this was my first cut. This is the before. My man's looking so crazy. He was lost, but now he is found. All right, y'all see that cut? Just to fade and trim up top. Kind of like a comb over, just like a gentleman kind of style on top with a nice modern fade on the sides. He was definitely happy with that cut. I know I could have improved on some things, but you know, I was, I was still, you know, pretty satisfied with what I did. Here's the second one. As you can see, this is the before. My man needed a fade, and that's what we did. So, you know, we just added a little design there. Uh, at the back, he has some a bit of difficult areas because it's a lot darker there, and then he has like a light spot. But anyways, I'm gonna show y'all a self cut I did. So, check that out. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna cut my own hair. Probably gonna give myself like a low to mid taper. We'll see how it goes, and I'm gonna uh, show y'all how I do it. So stay tuned. Over there, y'all can see. So that's what I'm gonna use. Might use the camera a little bit. I even got this. If I need even something else. So we'll see. Let's get it. Alright. Let's do it. <laughs> do it for Who cares? Do it. It's just here. Air rolls back. But the knowledge lasts forever. Right, Anthony? Exactly. Come on, man. I'm trying to be bold. <laughs> hey, my first self cut. Alright guys, so this video is a bit different from the rest, you know, it's a bit of a vlog with a little self cut here. Uh, so I showed you guys my two cuts. I actually went live on Instagram for both of them. But anyways, I'm just giving myself a taper. So I'm just uh, gripping the hair that's on top because we don't want to cut that. We just kind of want to get it out of the way. So as you can see right now, I just got my trimmers setting a ball line, which is going to be the foundation for the little taper, the low taper that I'm going to do. Following that up with my gold effects to get it a little closer because they're my closer trimmers. And now I got the shaver, uh, which gets it even closer to the skin. And now I got my lever all the way open, setting my second guideline for my taper. And the way I like to do my tapers, I do one side and then I do the other. So right now, as you can see, I'm doing my left side, which is the right side of the screen. And then by fading that out, I go close my clipper halfway click out and then go quarter way click out and then go all the way closed and that should take out the line and if it doesn't you could always go back with your trimmers as you can see that's what i did right there so it's pretty simple guys you just gotta learn it and then what is gonna separate you is gonna be detail so apparently i didn't do the other side but i guess i just saw uh, faded that side out first uh and then the, the other i thought i was gonna go you know back and forth but anyway just creating my second guideline with the number one guard all the way open and then closing the lever just to kind of tap out that line and then what's going to bring those both lines together is going to be the half guard which i got right here and as you can see slowly but surely that line is fading out and then all we have to do is connect it to the top with their two guard so i know it's a little struggle with my glasses you know if, if you have glasses and you're trying to do a self cut I feel your pain, <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of dropped down to the no guard here just to, you know, soften some little things up that and, you know, just clean up some little lines that I saw. 
now I got my two guard kind of going with the grain, you know, with the lever open, just just to be safe, and then just kind of flicking out into that weight there, uh, so my curls have something to sit on. So yeah, as you can see, that's what I'm doing, and after, we're just going to fade that out with the one and a half, and we're going to repeat the exact same steps on the other side. So as you guys can see right now, I'm still with my two guard, kind of playing with it, going around the ear so we can have a nice lineup around the ear. Um, I didn't even line myself up like fully around the ear, um, and I didn't even do the back. But anyways, this is my number one and a half, just to blend in whatever the two clothes didn't take out. Uh, so just to blend in the one to the two, and so we can have a nice transition. So as you guys can see, the blend is pretty much done. I just kind of took off the grips right now and uh, went with my number two kind of around the ear and, you know, just kind of fix some little areas. And I did go with my number two at the back, as you guys can see right here. I didn't fade it out completely until the next day, but pretty much what I did was set all the guidelines, but didn't really fade it. But it was fine because anyways, I actually cut the whole top down. Um, and kind of sort of went for waves, but I might go back to the curls. But yeah, I, I like gave myself like a high fade, but I didn't record that. <laughs> but anyways, right now uh, I'm going with my one and a half and it's all the way closed. And if you guys are wondering, I'm actually using the wall premium guards. That's why they're not my colored guards. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of making sure it's all set down for the lineup so we can have a nice crispy lineup and the hair doesn't really overlap when we line it up. And I just kind of took off some of those overhanging hairs, just kind of freehanding it with the one and a half. Um, I could even, like, I didn't really need the one and a half. I could have just done it without it, but just to kind of be safe or whatever. Um, so as you guys can see, some hairs are just kind of overlapping. And there's not really any point of having a lineup if, it, if no one's going to see it, you know what I mean? So I'm just kind of taking off some length from the front so we can have a nice crispy lineup that's going to pop. So during the lineup, I was kind of referring to that other mirror to, you know, because I'm not just going to look at a phone the whole time. The mirror is going to kind of help me see stuff better. So that's why I kind of referred to it a bit. Uh, but anyways, I put some hairspray there just to kind of lock the hair so we can have a really crispy lineup. And as you can see right now, I'm just lining it up with my gold effects. Is. And since we can't see, I'm just going to speed that up and kind of skip a bit of it so you can see the rest. Alright guys, so this is uh, pretty much it. I don't know if I'll probably detail it a little bit more and I guess I'll show you guys that, but... I'm doing what we can, alright? We should line up the stash. Alright guys, so I didn't show you the other side because it's the exact same. So there's no point of just showing you guys the same thing twice. You guys get the point. Um, but yeah, I just kind of felt like lining up my mustache. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> yeah, I might as well shave the stash. What do you think? It's fine to me, man. It's so thin. I don't know if y'all feel me on this, but like, it's the teenager struggle, you know, when you don't got a good mustache. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shave it off. It's a bit of a struggle when you don't got that good of a mustache, but <laughs> it is what it is. I think I, I still look pretty crispy. I was feeling myself, as you guys can see. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. You know, just kind of having fun, you know? That's the thing I like about barbering and stuff. You just got to have fun with it, you know? But anyways, I just kind of went back to the shaver at the sideburn area uh, just to get it to another level of bar baldness at the mustache and the chin, you know? Oh, I guess this is it. It's a little taper. 
That's it. So this is it for the video guys. As you can see, this is the cut. I just uh, kind of put that on my Instagram story. I uh, just gonna show my cut, you know, cause this is the experience, you know? A crispy, looking crispy. Um, But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. With that being said, here's the before again, in case you forgot or something. All right. And just a little boom, and this is the after. So yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be dropping a lot more videos this year. Uh, so just stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. And yeah, peace.